Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 16 career mode. We're playing as Bayern Munich. This is Season 1, Episode 5. Now guys, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is on fire. Absolutely loving the way he's been performing uh, lately and just throughout this season in general. Superb. Absolutely fantastic. I really love how the narrative has sort of changed. Like, Robert Lewandowski is such a fantastic player. I really do like him in career mode, but Pierre Mkabami has just stepped up. How can you not play a striker who's just scoring in and out every match? Now, speaking of matches, we have two matches in today's video, the first of which is an away match against Bayern Leverkusen. Pretty big rivalry. Hopefully, we can pick up the three points. Um, got a lot of quality players. Javier Hernandez, the former United man, huge fan of him. Um, who else? Sven Bender. As well, they used to have um, Yong Hyun Min Sun, I think that was his name. Superb uh, player, South Korean. Used to play for Hamburg as well, I think, uh, from what I can remember. But we managed to get a penalty pretty early on, just before the 13th minute. Seeing that Abamyang made the play and did most of the work, I'm going to let him take it, even though Thomas Muller is our designated penalty kick taker. I want to get Aubameyang's Bam penalty stats up, and he did most of the work, so I really like to reward my players that do that. So we go slightly to the right, uh, left. The goalkeeper goes the same way, and we're winding up against Bayern Leverkusen. Also, we have a match against uh, Arsenal in the round of 16 of the Champions League. I, I just find it absolutely funny that we've <laughs> drawn against Arsenal. It's just so, so unlucky for them. But, guys... Philip Lahm scores an absolute screamer. Just outside the box, running with play in the snow in Germany. Hits an absolute thunder cunt. Look at this. So much space. The right back puts it in to the top left. And Leno stood uh, no chance. Really, really nice goal with the dipping there. Thomas Muller makes it 3-0 just before the 60. Sixth, So it's going to be interesting to see how we perform against Arsenal. We're currently 3-1 up here against Leverkusen. Hopefully we can replicate the same result. I don't know if it's like built into the game's engine for Arsenal to be drawn against Bayern Munich, but I just find it in uh, incredibly interesting. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang makes it 4-0, scores his uh, second for the match and adds another one to his... Already immaculate uh, goal-scoring tally. It was a little bit hard to see the white kit later on in the match in the snow. Obviously, the kit... Uh, sorry, not the kit. The pitch does change. Obviously, it's a light sort of greeny white, and then it's well, full-blown slow. What? Full-blown... <laughs> I, I, I just... I don't know why I thought of it. Yeah, full-blown snow. Not I was thinking full-blown AIDS. I was trying to remember what that was off. And it was actually the uh, the Ricky Gervais. Um, I can't remember the actor's name now. I'm trying to reference it. It's not Morgan Freeman. Who's the guy from Taken? Liam Neeson. That's it. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. Oh, I got similar names. One's black and one's white. Regardless, going on a tangent here, we have the squad report. You're most likely to pause at any point in time and have a uh, an in-depth look. I, I knew I knew it wasn't Morgan Freeman. I knew it was something like that. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Liam Neeson. Or Nelson. Liam Neeson. Uh, regardless, pretty decent... Uh, Squad report. We now we have the match in the round of 16 against Arsenal away. We're going to London. Hopefully we can ruffle up a few feathers in the Emirates nest. Sergio Aguero is currently the top goal scorer of the Champions League. Now, unfortunately, Jordan... Jordan? Fuck me. David Alaba, not Jordi Alba. David Alaba has picked up a red card, too many yellow cards, so he's ineligible for the match against Arsenal. So, Bernat will be uh, stepping up. Hopefully, he can pr perform well in that left-back uh, position. Lavetsi and Lacazette are currently sitting second and third. Now, to start things off, Frank Ribery with the scoop turn, whips it into Aubameyang. Peter Cech with a top-notch save. Abamyang makes it nearly 1-0 at the Emirates. A really nice save to keep Arsenal in. 
And Aubameyang once again gets played through with a superb ball. Hits it just inside the box to make it 1-0 away at the Emirates. And my God, Aubameyang is just on fire. He just can't stop scoring. And he just feels so fantastic on the ball. He just feels absolutely superb. Um, who was that? Koscielny couldn't contain him. And Mertesacker, of course. Uh I don't even know why Arsenal were playing him in career mode. Pretty decent in real life, of course, but in career mode, not so much. Peter Cech pulls out the save of the match, I reckon. Diving backwards into his own goal. Ribery finds Eden Hazard. Facing his uh, former London rivals. We managed to hit it straight at Peter Cech. And get a free kick. 23 yards out in a dangerous position. Iron Robin was about to step up and take uh, the free kick. However, a substitution just happened. So 23 yards out, Jack Wilshere uh, coming on. And Iron Robin, unfortunately, scrapes it over the bar. Alexis Sanchez dribbling, whipping and weaving, makes it 1-1. And even though we were dominating Arsenal most of the match, they managed to bring it back to a 1-1 draw. But guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All my social media links are in the description below. And we managed to win 2-1 against Arsenal in the dying minutes. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for more content on my channel. Goodbye.